Welcome back, Life With Us TV, your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, hot topic. To cancel or not to cancel? Yes. That is the question. And the reason of the topic, because y'all may have received an email from Countable today mm -hmm. giving you the option to cancel if you cannot adhere to the testing, vaccination, and NASH requirements. Hint, hint. So we kind of wanted to weigh in to help you guys will make a decision on whether you should take advantage of canceling your cruise at this time. Because I'm a travel agent, I deal with all types of people. I deal with people that are afraid, unsure, and these are the people that probably booked their cruise on last year, hoping that this year things will be a little yeah. better <laughs> by the time it was time for them to set sail. If anything, things are the same or even a worse. little bit yeah. worse this yeah. year. <laughs> with that being said, you have to weigh the cost that it will cost you when thinking about canceling said cruise. Most people go under the early saver deals or some kind of promotion or even a casino deal. Yeah. A lot of those promotions come with a non-transferable, non-refundable deposit. Are you willing to lose what you put down to secure that cruise? Luckily now for a lot of people, Carnival has made the decision that if you have a cruise booked to sail between April of 2022 and going forward, they're giving you the opportunity to go ahead and just cancel yes. without any penalty. You'll get a free, a full refund for the money that you've already put on that cruise, which is amazing on their part. If you have been on the fence on whether you should cancel or not, because you are aware that if you cancel and you're going to lose your money, it's kind of a no brainer if you was going to do that. So I'm like, this is your window of opportunity that out. you know within your heart of hearts that I'm going to cancel, but the only thing that's been stopping you from canceling is I don't want to lose that money. Right. Because we had a client that was transferred over to us. Uh, we did not know that they had a early saver deal, and they called us to cancel, and we canceled them, and they had a $300 penalty for canceling because... It was six of them and it was $50 a piece. If you don't want to be that man or that woman or family to lose that money, you might want to consider doing it now while that window of opportunity is here. And that date was February the 15th that you right. had to do that by. With that being said, like my husband said, I have been advising everyone that if you are under a promotion, a special deal or whatever, go ahead and wait it out. Keep paying your payments until you get closer to your final payment date. If it gets bad enough, either one, can, um, Carnival is going to cancel said cruise, yes. or two, they're going to give you an opportunity to get out. What I have learned about Carnival is that it's usually a fair company when it comes to safety, public safety. So I knew that at some point the decisions would be made to, if you wanna go, continue to go. But right. if you're not comfortable with going and you don't think that you'll be able to safely sail or go with all the protocols that we have in place, here's your opportunity to go out. So that's why I tell my people to go ahead and just wait it out. Don't go past your final payment date because yeah. that's on <laughs> you, but let them start making decisions so that you don't make a brash decision, rash decision and start to lose your money. Yes. That's what happened with that client. I have no right to tell someone, no, I'm not going to cancel you. If you want to cancel, I can only advise you of what to do. All right, the next type of people is people that just want to go. Like, they don't care. They, they are fully aware of the risk of going on a cruise in the middle of a pandemic. This is what I always say to people, even when I started taking on bookings. Here's my thing. You are probably going to be in the most controlled environment that you have been in for probably the last few years. This environment makes you be um, fully vaccinated unless you have an exemption and that window is this big. Yeah. You have to have a COVID test that has been proven to be negative 48 hours before you board that ship. And you have to wear your, at this point, you have to wear your mask. Yeah. Kind of socially distance, all that good stuff. Where else in the world would you go and know that everyone that's sitting beside you that you're rubbing shoulders with have had to abide by those type of protocols? Yes. Nowhere. Other than flying to an international country, mm -hmm. that's this is the only place that you can do that and know that everybody around you 
is vaccinated have a negative COVID test within 48 hours. Lynette, what about those people that could contract COVID on a cruise ship? There is 48 hours in between you being tested and you getting on the ship. Yeah. That life just sometimes mm -hmm. happens. That is part of the risk. That's why I said if you still want to go and you know the risk, have yourself a fabulous time. Back in August 2021, this same stuff was happening when we was getting ready to take our cruise. Maybe it My might birthday even been, cruise. Yeah, her birthday maybe be even worse. And let me tell y'all, we had the best time of our life. We was concerned about all the oh, stipulations. Yeah. We was concerned of whether or not we was going to get the virus. We was concerned that we had to wear a mask the whole time. In August. Yeah, so we thought that the, our cruise was going to be ruined. But no, nah, we had the best time we of did. our life. We met new people. Some of them people we are still friends with. Matter of fact, some of them people we cannot wait to get back on a ship with them. Yeah, we're coordinating. Yeah, <laughs> so we can have some fun. So I'm going to let you know that, yeah, just because the virus is going on does not mean that you're not going to have a good time on the ship. Right. And like you said, just because protocols are being put in place doesn't mean that you're not going to have a good time. My idea <clears throat> was we're going to be hot miserable you can't breathe in the mask yeah. here some kind of reason uh, or wait it just worked yeah it worked it out it really worked it worked out perfect a great time so we hope that this information today helped you to decide mm -hmm. whether or not you should keep your cruise or should you cancel it to let you know that my wife is a travel agent if you need to book a cruise or book a group cruise please hit her up below at cofundtravel mm -hmm. at gmail.com also, in the comments, please put any questions that you right. may have, concerns, or if you want to add additional information to help people who are, are on the fence about canceling or not the counseling. So with that said, we're going to catch you in the next Countable video. Straight from the VA. The Dirty, Dirty South. Two up. Two down. Holla!